How's it going guys? This is Double Wide 6 and we're taking a look at a Jamestown pellet stove. Um, I think it's a J1000. It's one of their smaller units and this one's about, I think it's about a 95 or so. So it just has uh, manual light. I picked this thing up used for 250 bucks and uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be using this in the shop and um, basically what I'm gonna do is uh, paint it a little bit. I already went through and fixed a few things that were broken and uh, I'm gonna add on to this series a little bit later with probably part two and three and I'm probably gonna show the uh, install of uh, how to put the uh, pipe through the wall and all that stuff. So anyhow, this is just a look of before and this is basically what you get for 250 bucks. Um, uh, as you can see, it's got a little bit of rust on it. Um, I went through, I cleaned it out, it was dirty as could be. I mean, I am just talking like caked with dust in the back where all the little motors are. Um, not ash, actually dust. Like in here, all kinds of dog hair and stuff like that. And uh, according to the guy I bought it from, he told me that... Uh, he never had an issue with it, so he had it for about 10 years in the house he lived in, and it looked like he never had an issue because it, it was so dirty, it doesn't look like it was ever opened up. Um, so anyhow, I cleaned out the back, blew that out with compressed air, had it outside, hit it with the leaf blower, and then uh, inside I went through the firebox and uh, I had to fix a couple things. One of the things I fixed was... Uh, this handle up here to clean the heat exchangers was broken off uh, up underneath where it attaches. Uh, so I welded that. The burn pot had a crack started in it, so I welded that. I believe that burn pot's cast iron. Um, also, the, the handle was stripped. So right here, this bolt was stripped, so I drilled it out and tapped it up a size. It's now 5 16 and... Uh, I put some Loctite in there and uh, it seems really good so I'm happy with that and now I'm getting a good seal at the door. I was missing a knob here because uh, the knobs cracked and uh, I was actually able to uh, get a new knob for it so uh, I got that I just gotta put it on. So anyhow this is a little bit of a before and after thing I'm gonna paint this I'm just gonna tape it off and uh, we'll uh, show you what it looks like after okay so I'm double wide six and uh, stay tuned alrighty we're back double wide six here I taped this thing off spent about maybe 25 minutes going through put a little newspaper on the glass taped off that handle taped around this stuff over there cut it out with a knife um, it's not going to be 100% perfect, but this thing's going in my garage. All I want it to do is look better than it did. And plus, there's like some rust on it up there. And, you know, it's damp out here, and it's not going to be running that much. And I don't want it to rust anymore, so I figured I'd just paint it since it's not hooked up to the wall. It's pretty easy to do. And uh, the last thing down there where it says Jamestown and gold, I'm going to spray over that, and then I'll come back with a brush. I'm going to hand paint it either silver or gold. So we're going to hit it with a little paint, just a light coat of uh, that stove paint and we'll see how it gets. There was a rubber gasket up here that uh, I just peeled off that way that'll look nice when it paints. So I think we're all set. We're just going to hit it and uh, we'll show you what it looks like when we're done and uh, stay tuned. So here you go, here's what we got. Um, I sprayed it and uh, it's been drying for about 15-20 minutes, pretty damp out, plus it's uh, January so it's not that warm here. But uh, I wanted to zoom in and show you guys, uh, I sprayed that black there and then I hand painted it gold. Um, I thought that might be a little tricky to do. but. I just took my time, used a small brush, and man, am I pleased with that. It really came out nice. And uh, I just used a little bit of uh, gold spray paint, sprayed it in the lid of a spray paint bottle, 
and just a, a small brush with the gold there and uh, worked out pretty well. Uh, it was pretty easy to do because it has raised lettering. So um, I'll show you guys this a little bit later here after I get, let, I'm going to let it dry, peel the paper and tape off and uh, I'll show you the final product. So here's a look with the uh, paper peeled off and like I said I'm real happy with it. Everything turned out nice, it was pretty easy to do. Probably took about maybe an hour and 15 minutes. I didn't sand it or anything, I just washed it off, brushed it off actually just with water, no soap, just water. Hit it and sprayed it, like I said it's just going in the garage. And I taped off the knobs and you can see how nice they looked. This is the knob that was broken. Um, I actually have uh, access to a, uh, it's an epilogue laser, like I, I programmed it with CAD and made that out of plastic, it's acrylic, so I was able to make a knob that would fit there because I didn't have anything that would fit quite right. And uh, I peeled the paper off the glass and it looks real good, and I haven't cleaned the glass yet, it looks real dark. And uh, my next video... I will be showing the install of this stove. So look for part two, and I'm double wide six. And for those of you that are interested, here's a look inside. And uh, I'll give you an overview of the stove once we get it up and running and installed in the shop. So thanks for watching. I have uh, other pellet stove videos as well, and a whole bunch of uh, fix it videos under double wide six. So check out my channel. See you next time.